morning? Not much. Just a few flowers carved on the lid. Who feels like working? Hey, Bella, somebody just ran over to make my horse. He looks like a prince or something. I wonder what he wants. Who do you think he is? Maybe he's a friend of Snow White's wicked stepmother. What do we do with this? We'll fight to the death to avenge Snow White. That's what I'll do. Huh? Uh, hello? Anybody home? Grab at the door. Wait! What if he didn't hurt us Snow White? That's right. I guess we better find out. All right, but be careful. Sneaky and happy, you come with me. The rest of y'all, guard Snow White. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, oh. Is anybody... Oh, hello there, uh, gentlemen. Hello, how are you? Prince Bill, isn't it? How are you, and what do you want? I'm Prince Philip, son of King Henry. My father rules the kingdom beyond the mountains. I've been riding since dawn, and my horse is thirsty. May I water him at your trough? Help this part. Are you a friend of Queen Regan? Queen Regan? You mean that vile sorceress who's had a dozen people murdered? I've never laid eyes on her. I hope I never do. That's a good answer, don't you think? Sounds good to me. I don't know. He just might be saying that to us off the track. I don't think so. He sounds like a nice boy to me. I agree. Let's let him on his horse. All right, but don't let him have your son. This way, Connie. <laughs> Well, who is he? Prince Philip! Or so he said! I don't get it. First there was Snow White, a princess, the stepmother, a queen, and now a prince? Why is our kind to take so much world out of a sight? Everybody keep an eye on him. Looks pretty suspicious to me. I don't trust him. You wouldn't trust sleeping on after a hard day of work and a heavy meal. Is that so? Or maybe you don't care some imposter hoodwinks us. See us no one. Of course I care. Quiet, quiet, they're coming in. Now that you mention it, I am rather thirsty myself. The sun was hot before I entered the forest. Sit down um, and rest. I'll oh. give you a cup of cool water. Oh, thanks. I bet you're hungry, too. How about some good old beans? Uh, no thanks. I have my lunch tied to my saddle. His horse was most beautiful animal I've ever seen. And so big, he looks as tall as a house. What a blockhead you are, Happy. Who really looks that tall because you're a dwarf. His name is Jupiter, and my father gave him to me when he was just a colt and I was just a boy. We've grown up together. Here's your water. I drew it from the well, so it should be good and cold. Oh, thanks. I have a question for you, Mr. Prince. Your father's kingdom is beyond those mountains. What are you doing here? Well, somehow I get the feeling he doesn't like me. Oh, so am I, Grumpy. Well, he's... The way he's all about. <laughs> That's the way he is with everybody. Well, you go and get my question straight answer. You go and keep on changing the subject. Well, I'm here because I had to get away from my father for a while and be alone. What's the matter? Did he give you a spanking? <laughs> I wish it were that simple. No, my father arranged for me to marry a princess from a neighboring kingdom. Is she pretty? <laughs> ah, yes. Quite lovely, in fact. And charming and intelligent. And I'm sure she'd be a wonderful wife. But I don't love her. Uh... At least I don't think I do. I've never been in love, so I'm not sure. I like her a lot, and I respect her. But I can't help thinking there should be more. I see. <laughs> anyway, I told my father how I felt, and he said, It doesn't matter! A marriage binding our two kingdoms is good politics! I told him I don't care about politics, and he said, You're a prince! You better learn to care about politics! You're gonna marry her whether you want to or not! End of subject! Ouch. <laughs> that was last night. Before the sun rose this morning, I got up and took off. I had to have time to think. What did you decide? Are you going to do what your father says? I don't know yet. I mean, maybe my father's right. Maybe as heir to the throne, I can't expect to marry whomever I please. I just don't know. I think that if anybody has the right to choose for himself a prince on a house. Maybe I just... 
Well, what's this? Happy, you numbskull! Sorry! <laughs> Don't tell me I've intruded in a time of mourning. I'm afraid so. I'm dreadfully sorry. Might I? Hold it right there, Junior! Don't come any closer! Why, she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Surely you won't deny me the privilege of one brief look. I don't think it'll hurt anything, Grumpy. All right, make it snap! I can't believe it. Her face glows as if she were still alive. What must her beauty have been when she was alive? Oh, she's pretty, all right. Pretty as a snowflake. <laughs> pretty, yeah! The wicked queen Reagan tricked onto taking a bite from a poisoned apple. A poisoned apple? You mean this angelic creature was poisoned? That's right. What's her name? Snow White. Snow White. What a pretty... What's happening? Happening? I feel my insides have just turned to jelly. Jelly? Ah, so this is what it feels like. Well, what what feels like? What do you mean? I've never heard her say a word, but... I know, I know I love her. You do? Wow! <laughs> I'll never love anyone else. I... What is it? What's wrong? I'll never love anyone else. Do you know what this means? I have nothing to live for. Nothing. We understand, son. Grumpy! Excuse me, I've got to get out of here. Of course. Be careful. Bye-bye. But before I go, May I kiss her once? What do you think, Grumpy? I guess it'll be all right. <laughs> Look, her finger moves. Her lips too. She's, She's waking up. The princess kid has brought her back to life. Yeah. Yeah. My princess, it's a miracle! Am I dreaming again? Dreaming? The last time I saw you, you were just a dream. Oh, this time I'm real. What happened? I seem to remember an old lady and an apple. Never mind that now. Will you consent to spend the rest of your life as my beloved wife? I... Yes, I... I yes. Yes. Then come. I must take you home to meet my father. Very well. He's going to love you as much as I do, whether he wants to or not. I guess Dorothy was right after all. Sometimes dreams do come true. But Snow White, does this mean you have to leave? I'm afraid I must, Lizzie. But I'll never forget you, and I'll come back and visit. 